they, uh, it is called a living roof. The architect was is cutting a slice of the ground, lifting it up and slipping a building underneath so that it harmed a war that they did not believe in. They were, they decided to, it was a carryover of the, no, 1894. It was a carry of the world, the Columbia World Fair in Chicago. Now in Chicago, well, at least that woke some of you guys up. <laughs> yes, do not be deceived. It's named Twin Peaks, but this is not the Himalayas. It is, uh, it does give you uh, experience of the fog, this wonderful Pacific air that comes to us, especially during summertime. You may have heard of the name Mark Twain. Mark Twain started his career here in San Francisco. We bought it from France. And what I happen to be living in Banaras for the last 12 years. Ah, there you go. And my wife, who's also from America, from California, she's running a school for the last six years for slum children. And uh, this is Kevat. Toot your horn, toot your horn. They're taking pictures. Look at that. Wow, Kevat. See, it was worthwhile just to come for this. Wasn't it? <laughs> and of course, where those two are, then there has to be little Babua. And uh, I realized that the little Babua actually is here. So check this out, folks. Believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ripley, here we have in San Francisco, produced here by the Spaniards from the Canary Islands. And when they're in full bloom, they are a bright purple color. Really amazing. I think they would actually appreciate that song. Don't sing in the Casper place where many gays will be there. Well, here's a nice song playing right here. Let's see. That's not a real flag. I just uh, bumped it back. Oh. I kind of like this song. theater to our right, the Castro. This is one of the first places in the world where the motion picture was shown. Silent films, black and white, in the Castro theater. The one house coming here that you'll see stands out from the rest. These Victorian houses, built by 
immigrants from Europe, remembering the architecture of Europe built in stone. And so these structures usually painted in very dull gray colors and white colors to look like stone. You know, the, you, there's some, the carvings, they're all wood. There's not stone. But 60s, tripping out on LA as the colorist movement. But I have an even better name. It sounds a little too academic, the colorist movement. I call it the Rang Basanti. Right here. Look at that. Oh, this huh? Yes. yes or no? Very nice. Of course. I know I'm right. Now the Victorian houses, what's uh, very typical of them is the windows. Notice the windows that project out of the building all over. These are called bay windows, square bay windows like these right here. And they nicely contrast the modern look in the back you can see it is an a-frame but the, the top portion of the building is extended as a surface area just to have additional decoration so yes the painted ladies why are they called the painted ladies well now this architecture uh, developing during the 1870s to, through 1910. It is the time when Queen Victoria happened to be ruling in England. So that's why it's called the Victorian. And of course, you know, they had many, like very much. Just hold on a second here. Here's another Rangade Basanti movement, which is not excessively colorful. I like the pinks and the purples on that. Check it out. These are on the eastern part of the peninsula. Now that yellow one in the middle is the venue of the popular TV serial called Full House. The one, the seven houses down here are the painted ladies. And uh, the fog is sitting heavy over San Francisco so that you cannot make out, you can barely make out the, the one building that's the tallest one is the Transamerica Pyramid. It's, uh, you can see the sides of the building is sloping a little bit. It's not as vertical and straight. Well, that's the Transamerica Pyramid, believe me or not. And uh, yes, a washing machine. And so one of the companies that makes washing machines is uh, the Maytag company. So they call it the Maytag Church. Great, thanks. Yeah. Redwood, these are the tallest trees in the world. By the way, this is the original owner, and this is on sale. I have been appointed unofficially uh, to broker the deal. If you have $2 million cash, let's talk about it. <laughs> and if you look back, do you see that tree? That tree is not a normal tree. This person is a sculptor, and he's used junk materials to create this art. San Francisco City Hall happens to be the tallest dome in the country. And this is in what wind up in World War III. And so, they drafted the Constitution on them. These have, this is Un United Nations Plaza. The countries that created United Nations etched into these pillars and the 190 countries plus that now are part of it. Spain, liberating Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, uh, Bolivia, and Panama. It was because these Native Americans, these Adivasis, they were nomads. They were Banjaras. They had no concept of ownership of the land. They, Mother Earth, Dharti Mata, like Ma Anupurna, she provides as much as they need. They would collect, they would hunt, and they would just keep moving on as the supply ran, ran out, right? Well, here comes the Europeans, and they start putting up fences and walls. Thank you. 
It is donated by the Republic of China, Taiwan, to San Francisco. This is primarily a tourist trap. You will notice that there is not hardly any Chinese people who do their shopping here. The street that is parallel to this, Stockton Street, is far more fascinating to me. It is where the local Chinese people do their daily shopping. And uh, very fascinating. Their their fruit, their fruits, vegetables, and their seafood. Especially, they have tubs of water that is crawling with live fish and eels, with crabs, lobsters, shrimps, and uh, turtles, as well as these big frogs. We have coming up on our left here. This is the new Saint Mary's Church, established here by the Pauline brothers to assist the Chinese community to help them assimilate. In the Roaring Twenties and the fishermen working on their nets and boats. The Stinking Rose, a garlic restaurant. Everything down to the ice cream has garlic. If you're a Jain, you might not want to venture in there. And therefore the idea was abandoned. And that's why we have two very special crooked streets. This one has eight switchbacks and it's a gradient of 27 degrees coming down the hill. The one up on Coit Tower that we happen to just see, that is 31 degrees. It has happened to, in, in, in his time, this was during the 1860s. We can go ahead and, uh, and head on to the restaurant now. Crooked Street, Lombard Street. You have a way you want to uh, do that? Yeah, we can do that. Gehti hai aag mere man ki, o mat khel, mat khel, mat khel, jal jayegi. Gehti hai maaji, o re maaji, o o mere maaji. Time is night eight forty six. See the sky. Still this light. Hey, you.